Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Selesnia tokens. We've been playing a deck similar to this that I've been calling Naya Huatli, that it's basically uh, Selesnia tokens, but also splashes red uh, for the red Huatli, the warrior poet, to go along with Huatli Radiant Champion here. And I've and, uh, been having good success with that deck. And I'm uh, going to try this uh, with just green-white, though, today. So we're just going just regular green-white. Hey, Hawkeye, okay. you want to come on up here? Come here. There you go. This is my cat, Hawkeye. He's great. Um, but yeah, this is a, a deck that um, is pretty near and dear to my heart. Uh, it was what was my favorite deck at the beginning of Guilds of Ravnica standard. You can get your cat butt down off the screen. And uh, let's see how it matches up these days in the current format. So let's let's just get on to it. Slesnia tokens. And we got Gruel Frenzy up next after this one. And then we'll see. We've had some faster leagues. We'll see if we have time for another deck. Which is certainly possible. Good opening hand. Definitely like having uh, Legion's Landing into Sapling Migration. We'll take that every time. Thanks, Jalho. Too many planeswalkers. I mean, we have we have two in the main and four more in the sideboard. Lyra's and planeswalkers do completely different things. Like you want you want Lyra against aggro, you want planeswalkers against control, kind of thing. Like they're four much different matchups. Getting history down here. I, it's possible I was supposed to play L Luxodon. But yeah, I like I like flipping the land. Yeah, I like I like just making sure we flip this Adanto the first fort. Different ops. Wow. Alright, so does our opponent have a sweeper? Dang. Guess the answer was yes. We did not waste two damage. Still attacked. Hmm. Gates of Blaze in particular is going to be a difficult one for us to to beat. Oh, you're talking about attacking first and then using the Knight, uh, the, the Vigilant Knight. Oh, okay. It's 
I certainly want to get rid of March of the Multitudes against the Sweeper Heavy deck. Baffling End could be good against... I mean, well, if our opponent's playing Ops, they're likely maybe Nexus of, of Gates... I'm not going to play the Demystify. I'm just going to go with these Planeswalkers. I guess I... Maybe I take out a... I take out a Luxodon. So I'll just take out more Luxodons. If they're killing all my creatures. Oh yeah, Night of Autumn. I just missed that card. Yeah, I mean, that's just better than Demystify. Alright, let's try this. It's not that Luxodon's too slow. It's just... Um, yeah, it's not... Slow is not, like, the right word. It's just, it overextends... All like the all the card is is just a card that that's good at overextending. It's not good on its own. I right, really want to hit this land drop for Johnny next turn. We don't have to play another history. And we can start taking up because gate, gate decks don't deal with Planeswalkers too well. So we really want to play a Johnny here. So draw the land. Congrats. Well. I mean, they're, they're going to be playing Gates of Blaze next turn, right? So what do we want? I guess I get half of a history. A blaze. That was a critical turn for us to have a Johnny last turn. Ooh, no blaze. Okay. So can we go? No, we cannot. We don't have the ability to cast Amara and Tribunal and not um, and still be able to attack for 12. Like, I, I definitely want to attack for 12. So they might have been waiting a turn for the Ablaze to, like, let the other so their history token go. We need tower defenses. Ugh. Or I just needed needed that of Johnny earlier. Have to draw another tribunal or baffling end for this ram. We're just dead though. Three mana sweepers, very, 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 very good against tokens. Gates of Blaze is probably the best card in the entire format against my deck. And they're very large creatures that can't jump block or anything. Whoops, wrong way, 0 and 1. Just kind of a nightmare 
scenarios. I don't like how we can't ever hit land drops. It's one thing I'm not liking. So far, three lands that we had last game was the most lands we had. The first game we had two. This one we've had... The, the next one we had three. This one we have two. So this is a Grixis deck that's probably playing like Thieves Sanity, Nicol Bolas, that kind of stuff um, that they have that they want to be able to protect. Whether going with Amaro or Tithaker here is a is a little challenging. And they had Lava Coil. I'm kind of glad the Tithaker didn't get Lava Coiled. One more land, Tristani brings us our Tithe Taker right back. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that that's getting Lava Coiled, not Tristani. Opponent did not even play the Tithe Taker because of Tristani. Hmm. I guess I could have got landing in hand. Surrender now. My strength is our strength. All right, Wally, do something, please. This could be <clears throat> sorry, this could be a very, very fast league. A fine strike. You like a twenty minute league. My strength is our strength. Yeah, our opponent can flip, can attack Kuali, flip Bolas, get back hostage taker, take it to the Finally, other tithe taker. Some fire from you. Not a good spot at all. The multiverse. I always have yeah, an I don't, answer. I don't hate just drawing cards either. So, we need Conclave Tribunal for that Bolas. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. We'll take it. Ah, a cheap victory. My strength is our strength. And go, Huatli, go. 
Start charging up this Huali, try to get an ultimate. Maybe not. Here be monsters. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Journey has obstacles. They're stealing all of our stuff. You know, if we found it, <clears throat> if we found something, it just doesn't matter too much. All right, so what are we doing here, sideboard wise? Again, March of the Multitudes. It's just not... They're just doing such a good job at reducing our resources. We just don't have the resources to be able to do anything with March of the Multitudes. Like, Vivian is amazing if I can actually cast Vivian. I can't, I can't really see us getting to five lands. This is the problem. Us actually getting to five mana. Seems like a... Seems like fool's gold. We have 21 lands and four flowers that can get a land. So both Luxon and March, not in love with either one. But I don't want to just go like zero of either. I guess I should have these Ajani's in with the Harpooners. And I guess I'll play Luxodons. Alright, let's try this. I th I do think that I do think we should have a land in the sideboard before we're bringing in like these four and five mana cards. I think that would make sense. Alright, pretty decent hand. We'll see if we actually draw lands this game, or if it'll just be another game of us not being able to play a Johnny on time. Luxodon is a, a good draw there. Can we please draw fourth land this time, please, deck? Pretty please. Nope, never. I don't want to play another Sapperling Migration into a Cry of the Granarium or Ritual of Sets here. Hmm. Did not expect that. Yeah, last turn... Same thing, we could have played Migration, then Luxodon, but 
I just kind of thought, like, how they were ignoring the other Saffirly migration kind of seems like they would have, like, a Cry of the Carnarium or a Ritual of Soot, something like that. Hooray! I understand you are in need of support. Be strong. So we'll see if they grabbed Ritual with that acquisition. Ugh. Ugh. They had to have another removal spell for this uh, sapling that turns into a 4 4 here. Victory. I wonder what they got. I want to be, like, if we draw a five mana card, Tristani or Vivian next turn, I want to be able to play it. So I guess they did not get Ritual of Set. Okay, we got a game. Can we get a match? Ugh. Can we get a match? So we flower for forest, and we have two mana. Let's see if we can actually hit our land drops to get to these. I think it's more important that we have start playing these two drops next turn than we just play Le Legion's Landing on one and then Flower on two. No, I sideboarded out March of the Multitudes. It's, it's in the main deck. So I expect my opponent to have Lava Coil. We've seen a whole lot of Lava Coils from them. So I'm not playing the Tithe Taker here. I'm getting like the two one ones out there. In case they are just holding the gate, gonna make sure that our flower doesn't get negated. But they could, if you know, if that was the case, they could just have. Hmm. 
Do not fear. Fight again. All right, that worked out. That's what I wanted to happen. And now we have a Johnny in play. <laughs> Thanks, King. Yeah, that was... That was a line that worked out pretty well for us. And do we get to play Vivian here? No. But another Harpooner. Discarding that Luxodon, though, did mean that I could have just gone minus two, get the Harpooner back, and just kill their Nickel Bolas also. Look how far you've come. Certainly glad it brought in all these harpooners. They have been very good for us. And the opponent knows that our last card's Vivian. So they know they have all the information. History. Start us off. I <laughs> want to build a, a Johnny strength. Toolbox deck now? Oh, I've certainly, certainly played a bunch of those. Um, Dire Flea, Daredevil is a, is a great a Johnny enough. Toolbox card. Or tool, Toolbox uh, card. Slamming a Johnny's over be here. Proud to have come so far. See in yourself what I see. <laughs> Spoiler: It's the harpooner that kills Bolas in Bore the Spark. <laughs> it's this Kral harpooner. All right, victory. Was looking bad for us. Kral harpooner and a Johnny were awesome. Maybe we need to remake Naya Value so we can play a bunch of Kral Harpooners. There's not a, a ton of fine finality Hydroid Crisis running around the metagame. As mu like, not nearly as much anymore. So that's good for Naya Value. Those are like the two cards, two worst cards in the metagame for, for my Naya Value deck are like Hydroid Crisis and. Finality. So I know this doesn't flip landing where Sapling Migration would have flipped landing. I'm hoping to draw land and go migration trist migration luxodon where at worst we are going to be able to um, just attack you know attack with amara and make another token that would have helped out anyway Yeah, I think it's it's poss it's definitely possible that a member of the gate watch is going to be dying. Absolutely. So I think our opponent's probably trying to turn on spectacle here. I think if if they have something that like deals two damage to the Luxodon, that's okay. But definitely not expecting fiery cannonade and or playing around fiery cannonade as you could have told there.
Chain Whirler is going to be... Is like the worst news for us. Not sure if I want to change too much in this game, though. I think this is a this is the kind of matchup that I want to keep the huge explosiveness of March Luxodon everything going. I think I, I kind of wanted to see more of their deck before I do anything else. <laughs> Luxod on, Luxod off. Well, Gideon dying is like what people have been saying for like, I don't know, over a year now. Is that uh, Gideon is going to be like the, the planeswalker that's going to die. Like Everybody's kind of been waiting for like one of these sets for Gideon to die. That would be the one I'd be least surprised about because of that. Been ever ever since like Gideon was in standard and uh, from what, Battle for Zendikar. Any teamer builds for FNM competitive play? Hmm. I don't know if I have a, a good teamer build these days. Like a, a well tuned one. Honestly. We haven't played Teamer in a while. It would basically just be, you know, red-green, mid-range, splashing, uh, crisis kind of thing. Maybe have um, the enchantment as well. Uh, Hadana's Climb. Yeah, kind of looking at the... Uh, at my decks, I don't really see a Teamer one. It's been a while since we played Teamer. Uh, Teamer Vanifar. I think we did get five wins with Teamer Vanifar last time we played it. I'm not sure if this would be the, ab the absolute best. Teamer deck, but this one was pretty fun. Because Rekindling Phoenix is so good with Prime Speaker Vanifar. Yeah, we did get five wins with this deck. Last time. Alright, we're almost there. History's another good draw, but we really want to play Tristani next turn. Are we able to do it? So they have Carnival and Moment of Craving. They're going to make me discard too. You're going to cast Carnage. Hey Lash, yeah, we're on our 12 hour stream. We're almost seven and a half hours into it. So far, going from noon to midnight, Eastern Standard Time. Hmm. Not quite. And uh, I'm going to wait on the Tribunal. I waited on the tribunal. Right, if we draw one more land. 
I would like to draw another land. Oh, March. Hmm. So I could play Tristani. Tap the three creatures plus one of these creatures. Tribunal Phoenix. Hit them for four. It's option number one. Option number two is March right now for four. Tap the four creatures. Tribunal this thing. And then next turn we're playing Tristani. And we have six attackers coming in. I think I like the Tristani play better. I guess we're attacking for five also. I think I like this play, saving for an even bigger march, potentially. If I used march end step, then I wouldn't be able to tribunal the thing. So I'd wait and then play Tristani and tap like one of my creatures also. So now now we're in a good spot for March end step. Into Tristani. Of course we do need to worry about Fiery Cannonade. <sighs> it's a very low probability that our opponent has Cannonade in their deck. There's a chance. That's a horrible attack opponent. So I, I shocked in here, so I'm, tell my, I'm telling my opponent I have March of the Multitudes this next turn. Or like it's at end step here. And then they're looking at just a Tristani or a Flourish at being dead. Can't attack with that Choop. We'll end the game in a flourish. Even if our opponent had Moment of Craving there for one of the, like the two twos, we still have lethal. This is the standard Splinter Twin combo. That's that's end step Deceiver Etch Arc, untap Splinter Twin. We're two and one. <laughs> All right, and we're coming back. It was looking like we were maybe going to have like a 20 minute league here. We lost the first three games very quickly. But we've won four straight since then. We're back. We're two and one. Hey, what's up? Release the Kraken. Yeah, I believe Paramore is still active. Yeah, I'm pretty sure.
And this hand's not very good, but it has a lot of lands. And you know me. I like having lands. We don't have that many lands in our deck, so we should be able to draw, draw some spells here. Because this is basic. This is essentially like seven lands in our opening hand, with like the flower t taking another one. If we think of the deck having twenty-five, then with twenty-one and four flower, basically having. Seven of those. And March and Tristani can do a whole lot for us, so I'm not too worried right now. See if we can find our our earlier stuff to play. All right, by turn three on being on the draw, by turn three not having anything, any of our cards one through three mana to play. That's certainly not ideal. I was kind of counting on drawing something to fill in the curve. In the first three turns. So we'll go ahead and tribunal. Like, honestly, Sapling Migration is like the best card I can draw here. So you can play Migration and Tribunal next turn. Could we just had you last turn, Amara? I cannot Amara plus Tribunal. And with them having like shocks and stuff like that. Gotta just Tribunal here. And then next turn, Tristani. Do they give mythic playables? Well, they let you know, like if you go to the the store, it'll tell you what what cards they give you um, on them. Like the Gruel one has, hmm. Well, if they have another removal spell, we're dead. The Gruel one has Domri. Is it has Ral? Selesnya here has Tristani. They don't have any removal. We're okay. Like, we can beat... If they have, like, basically nothing. No removal, no haste creatures, nothing. If they just have, like, lands and growth chamber guardians, we can still win. But now we're drawing the two mana cards. We really needed to draw those earlier. I still don't hate the the keep, but it was you know certainly hoping to draw one of these by turn three. But then we drew them on turn four, turn five. Yeah, and you only get the cosmetics only. Yeah, that's those are just cosmetics. So you had to have the cards in your account anyway. All right, so Baffling End coming in. I like not a, Knight of Autumn is just a 4-3. I think the 3-mana 4-3 uh, matches up really well here. So we're bringing in Knight of Autumn as well. Taking out Huatli. And then this is 64. 
for... What other cards do I want to take out? This could be a matchup where we kind of we start trimming Amara because uh, how weak it is against Shock. Kind of the same thing with Legion's Landing. I do like Luxodon in this matchup. I think maybe I'm going to take out one March, one Amara, one Landing. Now we're at 61. I don't know what I want for the last card to take out. Honestly. Maybe a tithe taker. Or maybe not just another landing. No, tight taker. Yeah, if you buy if so yeah, if you buy the guild bundle and you don't have the cards, then you just have Cosmetics with no cards, you can't you can't use them at all. It's a kind of a weird um, situation, but I like the texture on this card quite a bit. Or that card back. Yeah, Orzhov Angels was fun to play. Yep. We were 4-0. and And then lost our last two. Unfortunately. So we're doing this 12-hour stream because we got to a the MeUndies referral goal at 10. Uh... One that I'm going to talk about here for a little bit, like while, while we're waiting here, is Harry's Razors. We're at 28 people right now, so we need 12 more people to sign up for our next 12 hour stream. And that one's going, you know, has a little bit bigger goal because it's only $3 to get their starter set. We have a wonderful deal with Harry's where if you use my referral link here and get their re starter set, which is usually $13, it's their razor, uh, you know, it's like the handle, their, the five German engineer blade razor with shaving cream it's usually $13 with free shipping but if you sign up for a subscription you get $5 off and that subscription is cancelable anytime so you know you just have to sign up for it but then you can cancel it whenever you want if you choose um, and then you use the coupon code Todd Stevens MTG you get another $5 off so it moves it from being going down from $8 to $3 with free shipping it's just a wonderful deal. Try out their razor. You know, three dollars being sent to you for their razor shaving cream, like their starter set. Like you just you can't get much cheaper than that. You know, like that's um, you know, a good month or so of shaving or or whatever or more for only three dollars. So sign up there helps out the stream as well. Again, coupon code Todd Stevens MTG. Um, if you turn off your ad blocker, the little notification will pop up here, and then we can get hyped about that. Would you say I'm a Bolas or an Ugin fan? Well, as far as their cards go, I like the Bolas cards more than Ugin cards. Uh, especially I like the, the four mana Bolas. I, I've never really liked the Ugin Planeswalker. But storyline, I don't really like how Bolas is getting rid of all the Planeswalkers. I like I like the Planeswalkers. I don't like how he's trying to trap all the, the Planeswalkers on Ravnica. 
and kill them all and everything. I don't like that. So I like Ugin more story-wise, but as far as like the the gameplay of their cards, I like the Bolas card. Streak almighty! Staying on that four-month streak. Welcome back. Thank you so much. That's our new sub battle countdown is down to 146. If you missed it earlier in the stream, we are doing a sub battle soon. We got there um, earlier, so if you haven't vote for which day you want us to be doing the stream where uh, I'll be playing against subscribers either tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. So Streak Almighty's question was, what are your thoughts on all the infinite combos with the new Planeswalkers? I don't like them. I don't like infinite combos with Planeswalkers. Uh, not really just with Planeswalkers, just in general. I'm not a, I'm just not a, a fan of infinite combos. And yeah, I would prefer there not to be the infinite combos in standard. I don't really like playing like, you know, pretty long games or just, you know, like good good games of like close magic and everything when suddenly it's just like, oh, well, the game's done now. I have this infinite combo. That's not, I know some people like it and I'm not saying that they're wrong for liking it or anything like that. That's just not, not me. I don't like those kind of games. Fine with infinite combos that are sorcery speed? No. Like, the. Hey, Feature! Dude, thanks, Feature, getting that $3 Razor set. Let's get some hype in the chat. But no, like, uh. Rao and. You know, like. Or not Rao, uh. Sahili. Sahili and Felidar Guardian was a sorcery speed infinite combo. Didn't care for that. Thanks, Feature. All right, 29 there. Sub battle day, is, it's not quite scheduled. There's a poll right now where you can vote on what day you'd like it to be. Oh yeah, it'll definitely be good. It's, it's certainly worth the three bucks um, for the, the shipping there. Make sure you can get a nice shave. You need to draw more March of the Multitudes. Okay. That's not bad. Hey, welcome back, Black Geppetto. Staying on that five month streak. Thank you kindly. So, you know, not attacking here. Attacking just doesn't, with these three two twos, doesn't help us a ton. All right, down 145. Why why should they hold up green there? Midnight Slayer. Let's keep this hype going. Thank you so much Midnight Slayer. Signing up for a Harry's Razor. The other good thing about signing up for Harry's there besides the, the fact that it's only 3 bucks, I guess I didn't even mention this. 
you can at any point, anytime you want a donation deck that's usually twenty dollars for just signing up for for Harry's, getting that three dollar razor, you can now sign up get a donation deck for just ten bucks. So just let me know. It's you know doesn't end. Uh, you know, like there's no like you you can only have a week to use it or anything. Just at any time, if you want a donation deck. Uh, their Midnight Slayer or Feature or anybody else that signed up for Harry's using that coupon code. Using my referral link and coupon code, you get a $10 donation deck. Get half off. It's another way that I am hopefully incentivizing some people to sign up there. How can we win at this point? March of the Multitudes. We can go wide. A donation deck is where I play your deck throughout a league. So you can choose for any any deck that you have that you would like to see played on stream. I'll play your deck throughout a league. So I would love to make all of my 2-2s two 3-3s. Three but the problem with that is then we are taking lethal. So we could do, so if we're at six, we do two creatures. No, we do not have the indestructible trick. That's um unbreakable formation we do not have that card we do have flourish we're drawing another flourish here giving our creatures plus two plus two until end of turn uh, making these all four fours and then five fives so they're all lifelink that would be maybe my best draw right now Yeah, we could have pumped Tristani to get out of Lava Coil range. It makes their attack better with, with Tristani gone, though. like how Tristani kind of checks a couple of three power creatures. Oh, you got the Harry's $5 mystery item? It could be anything. It could be even a boat. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the, the mystery item is. Is. I've, I've seen that on, on the site though. You can get a, a $5 mystery item. No attacks. All right, flourish. Or, yeah, I mean, because even Tribunal getting rid of the Phoenix, it's not going to do much because they have the Brontodon. Brontodons have been sneaky good here, resetting Phoenix. All right, we need to flourish. We don't have any like Lyra Dombringer or anything. And it's too late for, it's likely too late for March of the Multitudes. I guess it's not too late for March. March would be our other good draw. We need March or Flourish. March or Flourish. I mean, if they have shock here and they're just sitting here waiting, okay. 
because they kept on looking at their hands. That is not march and not flourish. Hey, what's up, a dunk? Well, at least our, our league lasted longer than 20 minutes. And got to a 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two two is respectable. It's possible I should just should have just thrown Amara away also, turn Amara from a 3-3 into a 2-2 lifelinker. This is the exact opposite of our first loss, the first match, where we had two lands and then three lands for the two games. Exact opposite. Ah, uh, no gems. Need them gems. Okay, so we went two and two. Deck was okay. I don't know. I just don't I don't love twenty one land for flower because it's so hard to hit land drops, usually. Uh you know, we just have played a bunch of games where we couldn't hit land drops, and then you know we had I kept very land heavy hands in both of those losses that last round because I was pretty scared to mulligan with our low l land count. I kind of prefer us having a 20 second land, at least in the sideboard. At least in the sideboard. Um, besides that, I don't know, deck was okay. Basically, it wasn't spectacular. Need unbreakable formation. I mean, the, yeah, the last game we just needed to draw a spell. I really like having, you know, like the night. I like our sideboard. I like our, uh, like, basically, I like the sideboard. <laughs> Main deck, Saverly Migration was pretty whatever. I wonder if Hero of Precinct 1 would be better than Saverly Migration there. It's Hero Precinct One's a lot slower though. Migration's much better with Luxodon. We just didn't really curve out ever. We either like had some games where we just got stuck on lands and couldn't play our sp and just got stuck on lands and drew our expensive stuff and couldn't play it, or games like that where we had lots of lands and didn't find anything to to really do along with it. I guess like I mean those were you know so it was just. Just that kind of stuff. So. All right, so that's Selesnia tokens. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.